quick to bitch him. We're cowboys. He's still holding his gut when he runs because he's hurt as fuck. But whatever. We're cowboys. We're in the old west. We're tough. We're grumble. We drink whiskey by the uh, shot glass. Um, and, uh, you know, we don't complain about such meager things like bullet wounds and losing organs and general blood loss. Got a little pansy, am I? A yeller? G'day, guys. My name's Josh. You can call me Zabudu and welcome to what is possibly my favorite game of all time, Red Dead Redemption. My baby, my love, my sweetheart forever. I love this game so, so much. When it first came out, I played it non-stop. In fact, me and one of my mates had two Xboxes in two separate rooms and we would play it simultaneously through the single player campaign and just like experience it together. It was the best. And now the Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out in not too long i thought what better excuse is there for me to go and replay red dead redemption and take all you guys with me so welcome to the start of a new series welcome to red dead redemption let's get this shit going i am of course playing on the backwards compatibility mode of the xbox one because fuck plugging my xbox 360 back into this shit i do not have time for that cannot be bothered i am playing the normal red dead redemption i'm ex i'm excited to get back into it it's been a long time since i've played this game i've forgotten most of what happens i know like the main kind of the main story the main plots and twists and stuff like that get go get out of that shit um storage device i'm here it's fine whatever that one um yeah, I remember like the main the main story twists and turns, but like the stuff like the hunting, the treasures, uh, just like getting like the, uh, the the black stallion, getting the horse from Mexico, and just generally being the best cowboy you ever could be. Oh, it's making my heart flutter again. I'm so excited to do this again. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at this gorgeous game. Like this is old, and it still looks awesome. Fuck Rockstar have made some good games in their time. I find it weird. I haven't noticed this before. So John Marston has been arrested by the, the marshals there, but he's still got his revolver in his holster. He's, he's still armed. I would have thought they would have taken his gun away from him. I mean, what's to stop Johnny Boy whipping it out and murdering these two fools like right now? I don't, I don't know. He's not handcuffed. He's not anything. I mean, maybe he's just intimidated by that ripping stash on the guy to the right there. That is a, that, that's a cooker right there. That's a good old clit tingler. All right, and he's got a giant bowie knife on his hip. I would have thought you'd take some of that shit off him, but whatever. Red Dead Redemption. Oh, here we freaking go. Oh, wait, I take it back. I've got off the train and there's uh, there's no one around me anymore. So maybe I wasn't arrested? That's the thing. It's been so long since uh, you discovered the Deadeye Assassin outfit. Yeah, I did. I've, I, I didn't realize I did, but whatever. Um, I Yeah, I've, uh, I've forgotten most of the game. I forgot that I w wasn't arrested. I thought I was. Anyway, whatever. Here I am. I am here. What is going on? Hey, barkeep, I'll have a whiskey or a beer. Do you reckon I have, did they have beer? The New York West, they had hookers and, you know, like syphilis and shit like that. But like, no, no beers? I feel like if everyone needed a beer, it was a bloke in the Old West. You must be John Marshall. You know it. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to gag you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Yeah, tickle them ivories. Just get your fingers all about it. Just like lick them and stick them and do the, all the things. Follow Jake the Laws. And you remember how to play again? It's been such a long time. I forgot. It's a, a controls like the old school GTA, which you might expect coming from a coming from a um, you know Rockstar, or whatever. Can I? Yes. Yeah. No. No. How do I? How How do I go fast? How do I? How do, there we go. Okay. Company Jake to Fort Mercer. I can't, Jakey boy. Or just go around the train. Go around the train. There you go. Just, yeah, there we go. Right around. I, mean, I, I almost... I mean, can you imagine if I got run over and trained the first five seconds of the game? That would have been bad. God, look how gorgeous this game is. I forget sometimes just how pretty this game was, is, and will be. Like, this is this is previous generation kind of stuff and looks as good. Imagine how good Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to look. I'm excited for that shit. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! This is always a great idea. Sitting outside of a fort and just yelling at people. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. This is a bad idea. It's a bad idea. You got no backup. He's got the you high ground. Didn't you see Star Wars? Yesterday. Don't try it. He's got the high ground. I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. 
Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Oh, that's just rude. Well. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm dead. So that's Red Dead Redemption. It was good to come back and play it again. The 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 most expensive five minute game ever known to man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Clearly, like, obviously, I didn't die. But what did you expect, John? You roll up on a bloke fortified in a fort, and you're just like, hey. Come out here and, you know, be my friend? Like, come on, what, what's your game plan, Johnny boy? And then you're trying to draw a revolver with three rifles pointed at you. Not the cleverest cowboy in the paddock, is he? So the good news is that despite getting shot in the gut and this being a time before penicillin or general, you know, medicine at all, I have managed to survive because I was saved by one Miss Bonnie McFarlane and I'm on her ranch right now and she is pissed because the doctor charged her 15, 15, dollary dues to take the lead out of me gut. So now I owe her pretty dearly. So to repay her, I am now going to be a farmhand. I'm going to help her on the farm. I know, right? A, a game about cowboys and, you know, rustling and killing and all that kind of stuff. You start off on a farm doing farm work. But you know, this game does start, start a bit slowly, but it needs to. You need to, you need to learn the, the history of your character and the history of the world before you start messing about in it. And if you didn't notice by the dialogue that happened a second ago, so John, our John, us, we, you, me, him, or whoever, uh, the guy in the hat, the sexy beast with the scars in his face, um, used to be in the gang with Bill Williamson, the guy who just shot him. And there was also a bloke named Dutch who we find out more about later. So, not to spoil anything, but that is why we know Bill. That's why we're trying to save him, because we used to be friends. We used to be with him. He used to... Why is your horse pink? I've been suddenly distracted by the fact that this Bonnie rides a pink horse. Is it just super sunburn, or do you generally have a rose pink horsey? What? Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I mean... I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. I just got shot. Like... This is a fine weapon. Just then. Come on. Like yesterday. Out. The country I'm, really I'm still bleeding time. through the bandages. Like, hey, let's go have a war. Like, jeez, give me a five minutes just to at least, like, scab over a little bit? God. Ready, if, I could, if there's a breeze kicking up, you can still hear the whistle of the wind going through the hole. All right, whatever. Mount my horse. We need to quit the bitch and we're cowboys. He's still holding his gut when he runs because he's hurt as fuck, but whatever. We're cowboys. We're in the old west. We're tough. We're grumble. We drink whiskey by the uh, shot glass. Um, and, uh, you know, we don't complain about such meager things like bullet wounds and losing organs and general blood loss. Got a little pansy, am I? A yellow? Rabbits! Give me a hand with them, will you? <laughs> I like how you brought me out here to like sort out oh shit. To sort out bloody uh you know bandits and whatever, but instead I'm just shooting fucking like, bunnies in the carrot patch. Oh my god. That's um that's uh some pretty serious explosion of uh pink mist right there when you shoot a rabbit with a freaking rifle. Oh sit down. Eh. God, I forgot how hard it was to shoot. I'm so bad at this. I can't I can't are they gone? Are they gone? I killed a couple. Can we at least appreciate my like him getting like three of them? Also, is my rifle gold? Do I have a I've, why do I have a gold rifle? I don't remember. Did I unlock something at some point in my life? I'm confused. It's sexy though, but like, mm, what? If it's not the rustler stealing our cattle, it's the rabbit stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. 
That was fucking glorious shooting there. Can't let the rabbits get away. Look at the rabbit carcasses everywhere. You can't escape. Bad boys are a woodle bastard. Just fucking sit down and just... Oh, wait. Wait, never mind. The, co the coyotes have the chickens. The coyotes have the chickens. Hit the post in the way. There we go. Got one. Gotta get the other. Gotta get the other before it gets away with the chickens. Where, where is he? He's over there somewhere. Come on. Hit him. Hit him, Joshy boy. Oh, get out of the way. Shit, I just shot a horse. My bad. That's alright. Look, it's still good. It's just got a couple bite marks in it. Look, there's one right here. Look at that. Look at that feathery fuck. It's like already like half de feathered for you because the coyote just numbed on it. There's some rabbits over there. There's some chickens here and some coyotes. You could eat well for like a week with all the meat that's on the ground right now. You're just gonna not be so damn picky. Ah, oh, look at my nice little room. You can sleep in the bedroom to save your game. I mean, it ain't much. It's a bit a little dusty. You will wake up in six hours. I wish I could just like put my head down and get a nice six hour nap. Like, I just, just I, instead of lying in bed at night, staring at the ceiling and just hoping to God you might get a little bit of sleep, I'd love to just be like, Wah! and be like it's six hours later all of a sudden. Okay, there we go. Fame plus 150. I haven't decided to get plus uh, on a plus 50 honor if I'm gonna do an honorable um, playthrough or a dishonorable gameplay. I haven't decided that yet. Maybe somewhere in the comments someone can let me know. I haven't decided which one of those I'm going to do, but I am going to save the game real quick and then continue on with my redemption. Uh, had my Red Dead Redemption. Um, no so far present, that's fine. Pay back old mate Bonnie McFarlane and just generally make it, you know, make a man out of me. Oh, hey horsey. Can I have my horsey? Horsey, there we go. Go to be on the map to speak to Bonnie McFarlane. Gotcha. I like how this girl, despite seeing all the scar scars on my face, thinks that I can't ride. She's challenged me to a race on horseback. I mean, I, I mean, well, I mean, look, me, me personally, I can't control the horses in this game. So that's the only way she's going to win. But like, surely John Marston, the experienced traveler, the old campaigner that he is, would smoke Ten, this girl. In fact, one. I kind of wish... I kind of wish that she would like, you know, bet the $15 I owe her uh, on the race. And I could, I could settle my debt right now and I'd never have to worry about it ever again. Oh, that's what the horses have stamina. I forgot. Okay, there we go. Just, just, just a little bit. Stay on the path to get your stamina back. There you go. There's some, some little tricks about the game are coming back to me that I've forgotten about. All right, just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep riding. Just keep spanking the horse's ass and get it going. All right, I think I figured it out. I think I figured out the rhythm I need to keep the horse barreling along in a sprint without murdering a stamina too much. Just like, just a little bit. A little bit of a gallop every now and again. Just keeps the horse. Who's pumping? Don't jump random fences, horsey. Oh god, okay, she caught, we caught up a lot. Right then, that was bad. The game took over from time to fuck me, but it's alright. My galloping method is still going. We're A-OK. -okay. Just gotta make sure I stay on the path of Rooney. Stay on the good trail, and we'll be A-OK. -okay. Can we do this again and bet some more money? I'd really like to pay off my debt to society and also you, just like right now. Can we do that, please? Double or nothing? No! 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 Horsey, why? Horsey, why? Why did you do that, you absolute clown? That's so annoying. I was flying. I was doing so well. And the horsey decided instead of taking the bridge that it was heading straight for, it would take a hard ride and suicide itself into the goddamn canyon. You four-legged fuck. This is why people make glue out of you. Clearly there's no brains upstairs, and glue's about the most help you can ever be to anyone. Oh, you useless sack of disgusting tasting meat! Thank God I didn't bet the, the $15 on that race because the horse heard it and fucked me over something shocking. But I can't really try it because that's just, that's just how this game is. Unless you die, you don't really try. That rhymes by accident or something like that. Marshall Johnson's available to you in Armadillo, which is a long, long way away. Wait, I have a, a, a thing for the war horse? I don't, well, I'm not going to use that right now because I don't really need to. It can make a basic campfire. How do I, how do I, how, how does map? That's how map. Okay. There's also the map in the case. This is back in the days when they used to actually give you shit with games. Like, check this shit out. In the cover of the, of the game, you get like an actual like fold out map. That you can, I, I love this. I used to have this out and like spread out the whole time. In fact, I'm, I should probably like put this on a wall or something. You've got a sweet poster on one side and on the other side is a map of the entire place. So you can kind of find your way around. Even if you can't find the pause bed, you can sit there on the way home from picking it up in the uh, in the car, sit in the back seat because you're too young to drive, and read the, the manual, look at the map, try and think of what's going to happen to you, and just generally get really excited about it all. 
All right, well, let's just, uh, let's go to Armadillo and talk to Marshall Johnston. I couldn't be bothered going by myself, so instead I'm, uh, I'm gonna take Bonnie with me. She's got a nice wagon, a couple horses, extra speed and power. You know, look, look at those, look at those horses' booties. What exactly are you waiting for? I'm waiting for John to climb onto the wagon, but I forgot that, you, you know, apparently driver's side actually matters. Oh, all right, let's let's drive this bad boy. You just like to go like this. There we go. Yeah, all right. Use the A to accelerate. Let's get some speed up. I've always loved coming down this hill, just like looking out over the over the valley. It's just, it's just, it's just, I love this game. I love this game so much. I've missed it. It's been such a long time since I played it. I feel like I've been, I've been like, like betraying my own soul by not playing a bit of Red Dead Redemption in my life. A bit more Red Dead Redemption even. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking clock this game. 100% of the game, because why not? Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Yes! Battering ram of horses. All right, I'm in town. We all good. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. Don't mind me. Just, you know, not slowing down when I'm coming into town. Oh, stop right. Oh, stop immediately. Cutscene. So this is wow, the gun is pretty uh, broken down. Hey. Oh, well, okay. Well, I need to go talk to the sheriff. So can I just leave you here and just leave you to fend for your own devices? You've got your carriage. I mean, you're in town. I've got a gold revolver as well. I must. They must have been like like pre-order bonuses or something back in the day. I just don't remember. It's been that long. So the whole reason Body brought me to town was to go to the doctor to buy some goddamn medicine because apparently a little vial of medicine just you know, heals bullet wounds and stuff. If you were injured, you will gradually turn red and as a dark red, you will die. I want to pet the puppy. Puppy? You already have full health. I want to pet the pup. Pet the puppy, Johnny's right. Look, he's been a good boy. He's following you around. Just reach and just pet him. Just, just a little bit. Come on, please. There's got to be a way to pat the puppy, surely. Well, I need to talk to the sheriff, so I may as well do that while I'm here. Uh, 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 hello? This is, uh, are you, are you in here? Why is no one... Well, there's no one in the jail, so I guess that's why no one's manning the jail. Look at the state of the bed. Is that blood or shit or both? That is either the worst case of diarrhea I've ever seen, or someone just, like, got shot in the ass and bled out of it. All right, the sheriff's not here. Well, that's that's kind of annoying. All right, Bonnie. All right, you're going to take me back to your stupid farm. Can't you just leave me in town, please? I don't want to come back to get to bloody farm with you. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. Yes! Travel safely, miss. Yes! Get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Yes! Fuck off, Bonnie. Thank you. Leave me in town. This is where I need to be. Oh, okay. Ev everything's better when you just leave me alone. When I get to do what I want to do, she's loaded up with... Wait, why did she come to town for grain and shit if she's got the general store and the train line in her own goddamn farm? If you have a train station and a, and a general store, why do you have to come to this general store to buy stuff? That makes zero sense. But whatever. Ask me no questions. Tell me no lies. Let's go talk to the sheriff real quick and see what he can tell us. I was trying to make a rhyme out of that, but it didn't work. Words are not good. Words are heard. I am now part of the law. I'm rolling with the marshal. I mean, I'm surprised he hasn't noticed my big bad golden guns and been like, hey, you seem to know what you're doing. Maybe you should just take him back to Fort Mercer and you can actually use maybe more than just a revolver to try and get some shit done, you know? Maybe just uh, not, not announce yourself at the front gate. Maybe sneak in, get that big bow in off of yours and put it to old Billy Boy's uh, uh, throat. You know, do it quickly, quietly, not get shot in the face. You know, that's that's the general good idea. But in the meantime, I'm going to go up to the saloon up here and get the punch on. That sounds like a great way to introduce yourself to a brand new town. Go and knock out some drunken fools. Well, the drunken fool got on a horse and is now drink driving his way out of here. Um, where's 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 my horsey? Horsey? Are you my horsey? No, your sheriff's horsey. Where's my horsey? Is that my horsey down there? I can't I can't do anything because I can't freaking yeah, there's my horse. About time you freaking showed up, you ghost. Come on, come on. Let's do this shit. Come on, Mal come on, Marshall. You with me? You're too slow, Marshall. Come on, you gotta keep up, old man. So apparently this dude, this drunken idiot in the saloon is an outlaw and he's ridden, he's, he's ridden back to his hideout where all his friends are, which you think would be a bad idea. Like if, you, if you're like, you know, an outlaw, 
probably don't want to draw attention, and then you definitely don't want to draw the cops to bring the heat, bring the fuzz out to your local hideout. That seems like a terrible idea. All right, whatever. First shootout of the game. Not just shooting rabbits this time. We're just, you know, just having a having a good time. How do I how do I take cover again? Ow! Okay, it's uh, it's right up. Gotcha. Never mind. Oh, mate! I hope we didn't like that hat because there's now a hole in the other side of it, and inside of your head as well. But I mean, that's that's less important to me. Oh shit, I've gone into fucking eagle vision. I've forgotten what it's actually called in this. Uh, dead eye. It's called dead eye. Right, I'm just I'm just an idiot. Can I can I do I, can I do that again? Yeah, I can. Oh yeah, fucking love slow-mo matrix shit. And you know this is cool? Fucking oh wait, no, not, not that one. Not, wait, I need to do it. I need to do it. I just did a second ago. Watch this shit, ready? You run up to cover, you go like slide! Yeah! So cool! Where is this here? There it is. Just like, just like this, and just like through the eye socket, I reckon. Whoop! Never saw it coming. Well, he, he might have for a fraction of a second. Let's be real. Walton has a bounty on him. Take him alive, and you will make money. You will lose honor if you kill him. So I haven't really decided yet if I, how I want to play the game. But what I am going to do is shoot this guy in the fucking dick like this. There we go. And then there he's, he's, he's not dead. He, I mean, he's got no hope of ever... Like, I mean, he'll be dead in a couple of days. But in the meantime, I mean, I, I, I feel good about this. Uh, I feel like, you know, he's an outlaw. He made a fool of himself. So I shot his fucking cock off. Yeah, why not? I'm, I'm going to be named... I am the dickless... Wait, I'm not the dickless bounty hunter. How can I make a name for myself that, that, that tells people I shoot their cocks off, but I'm a bounty hunter? How do someone come up with a name for that? There's another thing for the comments. Tell me down below what I should name myself as the bounty hunter who shoots off people's genitals. There's an awful lot of gunfire happening over there somewhere. I don't really know why, but I'll, I'll go and investigate that in a second. But right now, I need to quickly just loot this thing. Uh, I'll tell you some people will react positive to. Okay, so honor actually, honor does actually mean something in this game. Like whether you, you know, like if you, get, you get good things, you get bad things. I'll take the ammo. Oh, it's one loot body. I didn't notice that to start with. Got some more dollary dudes. All right, all right, fine. I'll go and investigate all the shooting because apparently I'm a man of the law now. Can't have any fun out here. Can't even have any fun out in the middle of nowhere because some idiot's gonna come out. And start shooting shit up. Right, who's who's shooting what and what am I gonna do about it? Where where, where are they? Hello? Who's Oh, it seems seems to be happening from over here. Hello? What's what's going on over here? Has someone been robbed? Sage coat robbery? Save the treasure hunters. No worries, mate, no worries. I gotcha, I gotcha. Ready? Watch this shit. Boom! In the fucking throat. Boom! In the fucking throat. Are they are they are they dead? I'll put another one in his chest just for the sake of it. Is there is there another guy at the back? I think there might be. I can't see. Nope, that guy's not dead yet though. Is he is he dead now? Can you just fucking die, please? Come on, there we go. Alright, I saved your life. Uh the part of becoming a true legend is uh, is long and hard. Try shooting birds and skinning coyotes to start you on your way. Alright, that sounds like fun to me. But right now I quickly just have to uh loot and uh mug and rob some dead dudes. I mean Maybe if they had to hit their shots earlier and not made such a commotion, they would have got away with it. But instead you missed all your shots, drew my attention, and now you're fucking dead, aren't you? Alright, you. Give me give me your stuff. <laughs> Only a mildly racist, but that's fine. Um, I mean, I'm I'm okay with that. This first of the treasure maps is this is this a is this a treasure chest? No, nothing. I mean, there's some pretty valuable shit. It looks like a gold coin here. There's a chest on the ground. Surely something's going on that I could take. What is this question mark? Uh, strangers found throughout the world are in need of assistance. So this is like just like a, like a citizen in in help. Talk to the man. Howdy, howdy, partner. Mind if I rest up at your camp spell? I love how they talk. I love how they talk in this game. Like the old timey, like just yeah, the, the cowboy language. It just sounds freaking awesome. I love it. I love the voice acting in Rockstar games. Oh, y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, Mister. Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth, uh, Mister. Uh... Marston. Ah. No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east, so. Man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so. 
Black funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tile. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> All right, look, that's pretty annoying. Old Pleasant, uh, oh, he said Old Pleasant House, there's Pleasant House on the bottom. That's the house I was just freaking at. I just went and shot the bloke there, the bounty. I shot him in the nuts. I shot his cock off because I'm the, I'm the cockless bounty hunter, not cockless bounty hunter. The, I'm, whatever, someone come up with a name for that because I'm the, I, apparently I can't think and do words today. Words are hard and I, uh, I has the dumbs. So I need to go all the way back there. I just, I just came from there. God damn it. Oh, wait. Thank God. Nope. Stop. 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 Okay. It's not actually all the way back out of Lord Pleasant's house. It's just hanging out at, uh, at this joint. Wait. What is it? You? Are you the person who's going to help me? Are you the person? Wait. No. Maybe you're someone else. I don't know. Can I talk to, can I talk to the woman? They took my boy. Who took your boy? My boy. Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My oh, tell me who. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills, them hills near Hanging Rock, they took it. <laughs> can't the police force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. So your whole... Sir, my son is missing, I need your help. So your whole plan was to stand outside this joint, and then when someone comes up to you, say, Hey, help my son, please, my son. And someone goes, okay, what happened to your son? And go, someone help my son, please help my son. Someone took my son. And you're like, okay, who took your son? And she's like, oh my God, my son, someone help me, get my son. It's like, motherfucker. Tell me, answer the question. I'm here trying to help you out, and you're just screaming at the top of your lungs. How about shut the fuck up for two goddamn seconds, loosen your freaking corset, and tell me what I need to know. I can't help you unless you actually tell me what the problem is. But instead, you're just going to sit there and jibber jab along like a goddamn monkey. Ah, uh, Pleasant's house. It feels like I was only here like five minutes ago and left a whole bunch of bodies in my way. They're all gone now, at least. But hey, hey, Knackers, did you... Did you not notice the whole, like, bed crew that took over your house two seconds ago? No, you just here sweeping, didn't, didn't care to, you know, whatever? Or did you, were you waiting in the hills until crap. someone came and did your job for you? Alright, that's probably fair enough. I mean, so, if, yeah, if a whole raid of bandits just took run. over your house, now, you'd probably be packing the heat now, when uh, someone else showed up asking really questions. Bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. Um, do you know what you just said? Because I don't think you do. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. Pay for the deed or take it by force. So this is one of those moments where I need to decide if I'm if I'm having like a good moral playthrough or a bad moral playthrough. I'm not I'm not sure how much honor am I dealing with right now. Like he's he's put his shotgun down because he's an idiot. How uh how much money do I how much money do I have? Can I how do I how do I see how much cash I'm rolling with? Is there I have twenty eight dollars. Make up your mind. I ain't got all day. Oh dude, don't push me because I'm very close to falling off the wrong side of the blade of the knife blade, and that knife blade will be going straight through your fucking stupid face. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've done a lot of honorable things already this playthrough, so maybe it's time I did something a little bit dishonorable. Just give me the deed, old man. Like this. <laughs> Are you dead? Are you dead? I mean, I didn't really have the choice. I pressed RB to get to cover. Bad deeds are noted by the populace if you turn road, uh, if you turn road agents? Is road agent like bandit? I've never heard that before. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get this and just quickly take this. Listen, you probably should have, you shouldn't have been so greedy. Mine is a hundred honor, so I'm like back to zero basically. Well, no, but I'm basically in the middle. So yeah, I need to know, I need someone to tell me whether I should make a good or a bad, a, 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 a good or an evil playthrough is like a better way of wording that. 
Because, uh, look, I've done some good stuff and I've done a bad thing. But look, he, he was being greedy. $200 redos when I've got 28. That's $15 to have life-saving uh, life saving surgery to have bullets taken out of me and sewn up again. How is this piece of crap worth $200 if you don't even know what's value? You you brought this on yourself. I, I feel a little bit bad, but not really. Okay, I have the thing. But the other thing I need to do is go to the, what's it say, Hanging Rock and find the, the, the that whiny bitch's kid from someone who I don't know. She just said they, they, they took him. She didn't say who or what or where or how or why. She was just like, Ooh, help me. And somehow I was supposed to get some information out of that. Now, all this girl said was that her kid was taken up by a hanging rock. Uh, oh, she said, oh, she said the hills near hanging rock. So maybe not actual hanging rock. Although this is hanging rock. So maybe this is where I'm supposed to be. Oh, there's like nurses on the train. That'd be why it's called hanging rock. I forgot about that. That's I hear I hear gunfire again, but like more importantly, like look like look at the you can't really see it. There there you go. That's there you go. The noose, the noose up on the branch. If I feel like rope would be valuable enough in this time and age, you can probably take the rope with you after you're done. What's going on over here? What are you doing? What's with all, what's with all the gunfire? Oh, oh, you fucking you absolutely fucking what, mate? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Oh, one and are you dead? Put another one up your ass just to make sure. Why did they get on a minus 50? He was shooting at me. Or was he... Sh he was probably shooting at the coyote. I feel bad. I'm sorry. Look, it was confusing. There were bullets flying. My adrenaline was pumping. He was coming right for me. So, of course, I was going to, you know, try and defend myself. I thought he was trying to murder me. You can't take my honor for that. Well, there we go. Now I really have done... I've done two honorable things. I've done two dishonorable things. I'm back to level. Man, I forgot how gruesome that uh, that um, skinning animation was. Anyway, whatever. I'm here. I'm at Hanging Rock. Where is where where are the people? There's there's horses and shit. That's fine. There's some, there's some, there's some flowers. Where? Wait. Where's it shows on the map, doesn't it? Can I get out of this? I was just going into the hills, not really thinking about it. Oh, okay. Big purple thing. Gotcha. We're gonna go. Well, I can't, I can't actually follow the road there, so I'll just follow this wild stallion, wild stallions, into the hills and see, see what I can find. Where's my, uh, where's my Etsigo Eagle Vision right now? I could really, uh, probably use it to see some clues. You know, does, does Mar is Master an assassin? Does he have, does he have the Eagle Vision powers? Apparently he does, because out of all that area, he managed to find something. A big bit of blood. All right, interesting, interesting. Let's go investigate. Horsey, wait here. You just don't lick the blood, please. Search for clues. There's a femur and a shoe and a pile of blood. You don't have to search for clues. You're literally kneeling in it. Oh, I mean, oh, sure, whatever. I mean, you're a cowboy. You do whatever you want. Oh, uh, American appetites complete. Uh, American appetites confuse uh, worries me a little bit. Is this like a, a group of cannibals? Should I be rolling around here just like just really nilly? I feel like that'd be a bad idea. Oh, all right. Well, I guess after that, I've been playing this for about now. It's going to be another long episode. These episodes will be pretty long, I think. I, I want to showcase the game and, like, the story. It's more of a playthrough kind of thing. When I'm doing some of the odd stuff on the side, like treasure hunting or hunting in general or, you know, whatever. It's like the side missions, I might cut some stuff out. But, like, the main mission stuff, the main storyline, I feel like it's going to be important for Red Dead Redemption 2. So, I mean, I should probably show it in Red Dead Redemption 1. But I'll have to come back and play some more Red Dead Redemption 1 in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.